Hey everyone, in this video, I'll show you how to render some particle AOVs. For that, let's build basic particle sim. Let's take sphere, scatter some points. And we will use pop network. All points. We need some force. Let's add swirl noise. Cool. Let's check this real time on. And also let's add additional noise. And save this file first. We need 120 frames. Cool. So let's create camera. Let's rename these particles same. So our particle sim is ready. So let's test render this. So we need lights. And use some environment map. And key light. Cool. So before adding any AOVs, add random P scale. Save this file. And also it has changing point count so you can see here but if I use ID it's always same right so here also we will use ID So now our scene is ready. So let's start with first AOVs. So first AOV I will render RGB. RGB AOV is very useful to control few things post render. So we can use AOVs in compositing software to enhance look. So let's use point triangle. We need random value. RGB so it's float now we need vector so let's click here currently is float ramp let's convert this into RGB 
and also one more thing we can use this to maintain clean so whenever i want to change wax or something then i can click over plus icon and i can pick so let's give rgb color cool to visualize this we will use right. and also we need dark background okay so some of particles are getting this value also right so i don't need that i need constant value let's use constant distribute it equally yeah so now we have rgb bars to render this let's bypass this color to render this we have to use shader so principal shader no reflection and assign shader over here and to render any aovs we have to import into a shader so we have to import here let's use bind dot os so it can take node name and bind export it's vector cool so let's go to out let's render our first aov to visualize aov is here click here and you can visualize from here so yeah so this is very useful in compositing software so you can select any channel and you can highlight or change color or something right and also one more thing i wanted to show suppose i want to fade off this particle when it dies for that i'll use alpha to fade off this particle when it dies we have to use its edge if i middle click here i am getting edge and life but here i need normalize edge hudni calculates an edge in background so which is not visible here but it's there let me show you let's use an edge so it's working now it's to invert this let's minus from 1 cool so re reason behind showing this so if i render this now i won't get this same rgb here let's snap this and now let's render it's not quite visible yet it's not visible so let's increase right so if i disable this alpha i'm getting proper so to fix this we have to use closest surface so it's fixed now right so make sure you use this whenever you are dealing with alpha otherwise it may cause problem in compositing cool so rgb is done next now let's move to our edge bars and also i will switching between these tabs right so let's create quick mark to jump quickly to create quick mark control plus 1 and for material control 2 and for out control 3 right so if i press 
if I press 2 so I can quickly change things right so let's create edge and this vector so let's convert color cool so let's visualize this edge and also invert this right it's looking nice make sure to use closest surface let's check now Oops, it's not visible so here I have just P yeah so here also we are getting enough control right and I render one more AOVs to get more control so that's noise to create noise AOVs let's use noise it's float and let's visualize here and here i will use this same except at noise let's visualize this now and also we can tweak frequency okay so now this is applying this noise on this location right so it may work in this case if this object is moving then it can cause problem to fix that i will use rest position so i'll explain rest position with this basic example suppose we have this moving sphere and i am applying this noise on this location So if I use rest over here then it will give same result. So if I add rest position here then it will store that position. Right. To check this you can go to spreadsheet and right so positions are changing every frame but rest position is stored prefer using rest position in this kind of moving geometry okay to add rest position let's use rest position over here at source and we will use rest here so more noise can move with the particles let's bypass this So this has some of useful AOVs to control post render so mainly useful in compositing software and also one, one more additional AOVs you can render is combine light
its environment and key light hope you like this tutorial and thanks for watching see you next time